Okay, here we are, boys. Season zero, DPL, week three pickums. Me and my guy Garmi are here. We're gonna go over uh, the matchups, just some stuff we think looks good, and then we'll declare a winner and go from there. First matchup we're gonna look at, Mr. Garmi. We got Riot v. Cow. Uh, what are you seeing? Uh, I just think Riot has absolutely insane tools for this. Uh, this Galarian Weezing Mon just sits in front of this Sneasler, shuts it down. Um, he's got Iron Crown, which has a fantastic Pekka Run and Latios matchup. And this thing has the ability to boost its Pedef and just become even more of a problem. And I also see this Suicune, which looks like a sneaky threat at its 85 speed, being able to just put a little bit of speed in and outspeed a, a bulky Pekka Run and just set up with its standard set. Sub CM Scald Ice Beam is kind of 1v9. So I, I definitely think Riot has the edge here and I'm going to give it to him. Okay, well... Our notes could not be more different. Uh, in my notes, in the preliminary stuff that I wrote down here, I wrote, uh, this is a Serral Edge versus Samurott matchup. I think both those mons go hard for their respective teams, but it kind of depends on who's put in the better situation. Uh, I think Umbreon looks really good outside of the Terra types. I think it's kind of hard because if he goes Fairy, he gets threatened by Pekarunt, which he kind of wants to be in front of. There's also a Poison Terra Metacham. Uh, as well as if he changes off the dark type, Klefki can own it with T-Wave or Prankster moves like that. T-Wave also will slow down this Suicune I wrote, so in my mind this matchup came down to Serral Edge versus Samurott. And then I also wrote, I think Weezing looks kind of bad. We don't want to be in front of Lottie. We don't want to be in front of a lot of stuff, although I did write that it, we, I, the one thing that we do agree on is this Weezing does sit in front of Sneasler for years, so I, that's we, we're good on that. Uh, I wrote it was a 51-49 matchup in Cow's favor, and at least in my prep, and that uh, somebody needs to raise the points on this Thwackymon because it looks good again. This guy just keeps coming. Uh, Grassy Glide's great for Suicune. It's great to slow down Earthquake out of Lando. It gets U-turn. Um, just an annoying little monkey that this just, just keeps making appearances. Yeah. Uh, but that's what I wrote down for, <laughs> for this matchup, and it looks like we're in... Uh, I mean, we'll see what happens, but... Yeah, it, it does just come down to how each of them play it, but uh, I'm just... When I just look at it, I just think Riot has better tools. Uh, it's not that Cal can't pull it together. Obviously, he can. He, he put Blitz down last week. Shout out Real. to Cal. Shout out. But, um, Shout out Life Orb. But I just think the, the tools that Riot has make his, uh, his game that he has to play a little easier. I understand. I understand. Well, that you've heard it here, guys. A big, uh, not even big, but... Marcus is endorsing Riot. I'm endorsing Cow. Somebody will be right, and the loser oh, is I want very Cow ass. To win. Oh, oh yeah, you want Cow to win? But I just, I just think Riot has this one. I understand. Let me turn you down just a little bit. I think you might have peaked on that. I want Riot to win. Well, <laughs> that's that's just how passionate I was. You're just so passionate, man. I can't, we <laughs> just can't stop getting all this passion. Uh, so I'm just gonna go up the list. The next one that we have here is your matchup. Um, I'll just talk about your matchup, and then I think you said your team's already made, right? So I'm yeah, not my gonna my team is made. So no blitz, don't worry, no C teaming here. No um, C teaming. I already got all six. So um, whatever Daniel says. Yeah, I mean, and the notes that I wrote down are very general. We both know that Blitz is a hard prepper, so every anything that I point out, he's probably already going to have looked at. And so my notes are very basic. Pretty much, I've just written down. Bundle looks pretty scary, but that that's what he's here to do. He's got high sp attack and high speed. He's a good offensive type in ice with water. It's just you know a hard mod to deal with. Corviknights are one of the best pivots in the game. It's kept off can be annoying. Um, there are some cheeky sets that i think you could bring based on some guys that might come i'm not going to expose but i do think there's some room for some fun we'll see if you've prepped that or not and then veil's super annoying serena looks good with spin and he's got two guys that can just click funny button in hoopa and arcanine and those guys are just gonna hurt so you know on paper i think you guys both have answers me personally, I'm terrified of this bundle mon, but I do think he's gonna have to hit a hydro pump or two for some of your guys, depending on your sets. Oh, he hits. He hits. Oh, he hits these. Okay, so yeah. are we both agreeing? We think Blitz wins. I don't think it's gonna be a blowout, but I think it could be a tough matchup to overcome, depending on how it's played. I think if both you guys look at your screens, I'm looking at a 55-45 Blitz. It oh, matchup. don't worry. We're gonna we're unveiling the hidden tech in our video this week against oh, Blitz. So yeah. if if the tech pops off uh it, it's looking like a, a victory for me but let's go victory regardless i'll take I, it i think i think the odds are against me i just think 
the it is a tough week to be thunned and torn against the bundle although you do have prankster you know so he's got to respect that but it's just a tough week to be double flying cinderace and ground type versus the ice water monster that is this penguin but yeah. like i said it all comes down to how it's played so it doesn't really matter but it's just when i look at it i don't like that guy <laughs> Yeah, I like I'm actually that parental guy. bond T wave so that I get the first one off and it consumes his lum and Let's then I get go. I get a second one off. So yeah, be afraid. Yeah. With me. This lumberry is going to be in your nightmares for the rest of the season. Apologies to, for doing that to you. I'll All go right, better early than later. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, we got Mr. Ryan versus Leo. Marcus, why don't you go ahead and lead us off with some notes on this matchup? Well, We've got the 0-2 versus the 2-0, and it's not in the way that you'd expect if we were looking at this preseason, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. especially given the teams. Like, when you look at Ryan's team, it's just full of scary guys. But in this particular matchup, like, I don't know what any of those scary guys do mm -hmm, against mm -hmm. this Zapdos. Like, this Very Zapdos is in front of everything, dude. Like, his answer is basically try to break it with Blastoise or, uh -huh. like, toxic it. But, but other than that... If uh, if the Stall Kings can keep that Zapdos healthy, it's gonna just be able to put in so much work. And they already showed in their match this past week how they were able to just keep this Glow King Hydrapple Regenerator Core healthy. Both of those mons came back from the depths. They both had less than 100 HP at multiple points in the game and then went back up to full. So I just think uh, this, this Stall Kings team has been putting in too much work Ryan is really going to have to figure out a way to mm -hmm. get the edge and to find himself in a favorable position in the matchup because otherwise I think they're going to claim their third win here. Um, so I will say I'm going to lead this off by saying we have some uh, guys in the league that are absolute freaks and by that I mean they're unhappy with their team and even though they know the changes they want to make by Thursday they hold on to them till Sunday at 9.59 like somebody's going to snipe the changes that they are going to try and make. Um, Ryan and Blitz are both in that category this week, so the teams could, in theory, change before the games go live. Um, so I wrote, if the team currently stays, Gouging Fire looks pretty good, but I agreed with you, Marcus, where it looks really good, except it can't do much to Zapdos, and it does not want to get Static Parrot. Um, I also wrote that Ryan lacks Breakers, uh, and I've said this to you previously outside of this video. I'll, I'll make it known here. I don't care if people call me a freak. Uh, Gen 9, too much defense is bad. There are not enough breakers on this Ryan team, and the guys that can do it want to set up. And I just don't know on against that Leo team if they're going to get the turns to do it. Like this Serp wants to get his contrary going. Primeape wants to be able to click bulk up. Uh, CM, Cress, if you even go that route with it. Blastoise needs the turn to smash. Gouging Fire would really like to Dragon Dance. Doesn't have to, but it would, it would prefer to be able to. And it's just, there's nobody that can come in and click one attack and make Leo say, where am I going? Leo will just go to one of these regenerator guys, lose 40, and he'll hard swap, and you're never breaking it with seven defensive guys. Uh, yeah. The addition of certain moves to certain types and coverage, and I don't know if it's just if everybody just got boosts or what, but uh, I learned right when Gen 9 came out that hard balance is not the way anymore. There's just too much offensive breaking power. I don't know if it's just because Terra enabled a lot of guys or what, but uh, it's it's definitely tough. I did write on Ryan's team, if it does stay, I think that this Knackle stack goes infinite. Um, it's really, yeah, I, really, I really want to see him go infinite. It's, it's really good into Empoleon and Hat, as well as Zapdos. Uh, it's really good into Ogre as well, as well as Glass Tray pre-Terra. It really only struggles with Crook, but we can just hard out on Crook on Mandibuzz. We force him to click the rock move. Um, if there is one Mon on this team, like I said, that I'm looking at and I think, wow, this could actually perform, it is a Violet Knackle stack. It definitely gives Leo problems, but he can't let it eat too much. And he doesn't have a Wish Passer, so it's still a struggle. But I was like, wow, I, I would bring Knackle stack in this game, personally, if the team even stays the way that it yeah, is but knuckle stack is threatened like it it threatens ogre pond but it's threatened by ogre pond yeah uh especially yeah, yeah. with the ogre pond having mold breaker like not having to worry about that purifying salt ability yeah um and this hydrapple just i mean knuckle stack spadef is not the greatest like you can obviously invest into it but this hydrapple is still going to be able to just sit there and click giga drain in front of it um, very real 
I agree with you with the point about Ryan not really having breakers. His best breaker in Goldengo kind of limited with Steel not being a great offensive type and Shadow Ball not being a high BP move. It's super spammable, but it still doesn't bring that breaking power that you're talking about that's going to help him break through the Zapdos. So uh, I think this one's in Leo's favor, but we've seen Ryan put together some heinous stuff and come out with a W. So Yeah, yeah. And uh, I do believe of the trio core, even though it should, in theory, be Iceman's turn, Ryan is trying to already bypass that and saying he demands Leo. So we might see Leo actually play this. Uh, I still can't believe that, that whatever, they're doing that. Uh, I'm going to give the favor to Leo. I think he's probably, this is a 60-40 matchup in my mind, but we both know Ryan is definitely more versed, so there's always a chance he could pull it out, even if he's at a disadvantage team-wise, but I don't know, it's looking tough uh, from yep. this angle. Uh, the last matchup that we're going to go to is mine. Uh, I'm not scared <laughs> of more, so That's I'm going to go ahead and just say what I think looks good I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring it either way so if we're both aware that it's coming no diff in talking about it uh, my top note in all bold is don't lose to Gliscor I've been harping on this Gliscor guy coming SD facade and I bet you it makes an appearance versus me um, it could really mess up a lot of the team it does struggle with stuff like Scizor and obviously it can't come in on wake it can't really kill or do too much to wake unless he's already SD'd but we've already seen Mort cook some absolutely heinous sets. This fling shit that he did yesterday was wild. So uh, who knows what will really come. Uh, I also wrote Archeldon's a bit of a problem. My best ways to hit it are obviously Wake and Heatran. But Heatran's Mr. 75%. We hate that guy. And who knows if I can get Wake in the position I want. Uh, I really want to bring the guys I haven't had make appearances yet. So Zarud and Choji. But their matchups aren't looking great. We'll see what happens. And then the last note I wrote here is Tentacruel also looks super good, so my up isn't even that great, but I just, this guy's coming in and clicking spin because I can't really let a lot eat the Scald or would prefer they don't get burned. So uh, pretty hard matchup for both sides. There's definitely mons to me that, you know, win or lose on both. Uh, I'm not going to pick a winner, but more if you lose to me, you are very ass, and if you beat me, you are very good. Uh, your turn, Marcus. You got some notes? Yeah, I do. Um, I think this Archaladon Mon is a problem. I, I don't really respect the Gliscor, and that's my that's my personal problem. That's why it 6 me every time I play against it. But, Very real. Um, I just think that Gliscor lets in this Walking Wake Mon, and, and Mork kind of wants to preserve this Archaladon HP by not having it have to switch in and eat one. Yep. yep. But this Archaladon Mon, if he just comes Spadef or AV or whatever, whatever it comes, uh, it sits in front of Wake, it can sit in front of Boulder, depending on if it's already got a couple stamina boosts. Yep. Uh, I, I think it sits in front of Heatran. Like, even if you Magma Storm it, I'm pretty sure it kills you, and you may not kill it, I mean, although Earth Power is going to do a lot. The, the 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 It was the Spadef. Where is it? Yeah, 65 yeah, Spadef. But if you, if you invest in that, that's, oh, oops, that's not that one. bad, you know? It's obviously not good, but, like, our Chaladon's base stats let it kind of just throw 200-plus EVs in Spadef, and if he chooses to go AV on top of that... It's going to be really bulky and difficult to break. The only weaknesses it has are fighting in ground, and your ground stab is Sandaconda. So it's like... Yep. Yep. I, I don't know. I, I definitely think you can break through Mort's team. Uh -huh. Like, you have checks to his mods. Like, Scizor and Boulder both check Valiant. Um, Scizor also helps out with the Rillaboom. It's, it's, this is the most even match of the week, in my opinion. Um... It, yeah. For me, it comes down to can you break through the Arch Aladon? Real. It's, it's, that guy is scary. That Mon is scary. We can't all get the 30% on Fickle Beam to blow this guy away. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. Tough. All right. Well, that's it for the Pickums, really. I mean, same thing. We're wrapping this up right around 15 minutes. Good sweet spot just to get some content for the lads. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in these games. It's currently Saturday of week two, so going to be a little bit, but you know we'll, we'll make it we'll be all right any closing thoughts mr garmus no these games have all been awesome um i actually gotta give and you're gonna hate this i have to give an honorable mention to the stall kings oh, for please. their video that was funny content man like yeah. Like yeah. the just the format of having the one coach that's shot calling, not being able to hear the other guys, and hearing all three of these guys act like three cut off heads 
of one chicken is hilarious yeah um it, it's so funny like I will, I, uh, i'm looking forward to their future content i will sure. say if they do it like that then they can play the season like that it's fine i'm obviously not a huge fan of the i want three coaches but i monitored the game last night i even was letting leo know of some things that he was just spewing that were wrong so you're probably if you will even if you watch the video full through you might hear me pop in and out a little bit but yeah they really did they really did just deafen psycho so the psycho guy is just fucking yapping and that he can't hear anything it's so funny. and i like when i like when they're leo and ice are agreeing that one thing is better and then sticks just makes a completely different play so i it it it's it's way more like it's it's harder than it has to be but it was pretty funny so yeah hopefully it's, they can it's do, very funny hopefully they can continue to you know not break the rules and do it that way but i don't know you got to watch those guys i don't trust them still no, I think all three of them are not to be trusted, but that, <laughs> that was particularly funny. All right, all right. So we're going to get out of here, and we'll be back for, uh, on my channel at least, we'll be back for week three game. And then if not, you know, see Garmy next week for DPL week four pickups. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. 07. 07. <laughs>